Hey Awesome Doodle fans, we have a visitor today. Uh, this is Mark. Elliot is going home with Mark today. Mark, uh, great to have you here uh, at, I call it the Urban Awesome Doodle <laughs> Ranch in Louisville, Kentucky. Just in case you're wondering, uh, we, are, we don't live in the country. Uh, we live in a suburb of Louisville, Kentucky. Our dogs are raised in the house. We have a regular sized backyard just like you do. And uh, you know, so puppies get to play out there once they're six weeks old. So again, Mark, uh, it's a pleasure to have you. Uh, we picked up Mark at the airport a couple hours ago, and we've been here uh, talking about his puppy and what he's going to do with it and how he's going to train it and everything. Mark, let's see, you have two Aussie Doodles now, two, yep. two adults. How old are they? Both about three years old. Okay. And, and what has made you decide to get a third Aussie Doodle? <laughs> Primarily because we wanted to get a playmate for one of the existing Aussie Doodles. Because uh -huh. um, one of them is very quiet and one of them is very playful. We love the breed. They're so smart, I and mean, you can see it in their eyes, so mm -hmm. we knew we wanted to stick with the breed. Well, we're really proud of Elliot, and for those of you have, who have been watching Elliot's videos since he was born, uh, you've probably noticed that I'm a little bit partial to Elliot. Uh, he's a beautiful, beautiful dog, and his personality is just off the charts. They're all great dogs, and, it, and it's really hard for me to pick a favorite. Uh, but we've just really taken a liking to Elliot just because he's he's such a good dog. He's the biggest dog of this litter, and yet he's he's very submissive uh, with the other puppies. So we really like that behavior. When you decided to get your third Aussie Doodle, how did you start that process? We had a really good experience with our first Aussie Doodle. We had a really bad experience with our second Aussie Doodle. So. I really wanted to be very careful about where we got our third and um, what kind of environment he was being raised in. And so I did a lot of online research to make sure that we would get a, a healthy, well cared for puppy. Once I found Awesome Doodle, it actually, I think that really is what solidified the decision to do the third puppy was that we found I found some place that I was really excited about. I think if I had not found Awesome Doodle, we probably would not have gotten a third yet. Can you tell me a little bit about what made you so excited about Awesome Doodle? Well, just uh, exactly the things that you started out this video by saying your regular family in a regular home, the dogs are raised in the house, not in the kennel, in the backyard or out in a barn or something like that. Mm -hmm. The hands-on experience of them, the socialization. These puppies are cared for. They're not, um, you don't see dollar signs. You see puppy, puppies. And that was so completely evident. Uh, the, the constant communications, the fact that you responded to all my hundreds and hundreds of emails challenging you and asking you questions and mm -hmm. questioning every single step of the way. <laughs> okay. It just, it was safe and comfortable. And I, I remember an email that you sent me, Mark. Uh, I had Mini Coochie's litter and then I had Robin's litter and these two litters crossed over by about two weeks. And you sent an email and you said, hey, I thought you said you only have one litter at a time. So I had some explaining to do there with Mark. <laughs> But yeah, we, we typically have um, one litter at a time. Occasionally we'll have a litter that, uh, you know, crosses over by a couple weeks. Well, I think what really got me was that you know, it's relatively easy to make a website look enticing and... No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's not. Um, but but, but yes, people, I know what people you're can do that. Yeah. And yet what was different about Awesome Doodle was that you had the communication and the availability to back it all up. You invite people to see where the puppies are born and raised. You don't 
want to pass the puppy off at the 7-Eleven down the street. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You, I'll meet you at McDonald's. Exactly. <laughs> There, yeah. there are places that do that. Yeah. There, and they give, and, and that was one of the other things. You, you, I mean, you had answers to all my questions, no matter how difficult and how challenging they were. And I asked very pointed questions. I, I mm-hmm. didn't want to support a puppy mill. It's not healthy. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest with you, the first several communications we had... I would get off the internet or my email and I would say, this is too good to be true. Mm. This is too good to be true. <laughs> and yeah. it just kept happening. And then it wasn't too good to be true. It was just true. Okay, so Mark sent us a, a birthday photo of, of one of his awesome <laughs> dudes. So was it Edgar? It was Edgar's. So Edgar had, was one year old, and he had a cake <laughs> that looked like the head of an Aussie doodle. It was hilarious. It was Edgar, actually. <laughs> they made his face. <laughs> when we see that kind of stuff, we just, we just know that uh, our dog is just going to have a great home. And I couldn't be happier that you're getting Elliot here. The way we look at it is we just treat people how we would want to be treated. If I'm going to have a dog for 15 years, I really want to make sure I'm making the right decision. Our average number of emails with the family from the time they inquire to the time their puppy goes home, it's over 100. I think you're at the 200 mark. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's absolutely okay, Mark. That's absolutely okay. We, I, I do have a tendency to comment on everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is your boy. And his name is Elliot, and you guys are going to see a lot of Elliot online. The work that you put into a puppy in the first eight weeks is, will pay off tenfold in, in the rest of its life. All right, everybody. Say goodbye to Elliot. We'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>